It's a song that makes you want to clap your hands and maybe sing along. Pharrell Williams' Happy peaked at number one. It's still in the top ten. A lot of people have even made parodies of the original music video. Here come bad news, talking this and that. This video right here has landed a group of six young people in Iran in jail. That country has laws against women dancing in public. A police spokesman even said the video hurt public chastity. There are unconfirmed reports that the people in the video have been released now, and we're actually confirming some of the, those reports. The incident, though, is drawing attention to strict laws in Iran based on Islamic tradition. We're joined by Nagar Mortazavi, a journalist from Iran, now based here in Washington. It's great to have you with us. We're really interested in your take on this. So what do you think it was that they did illegally that got them arrested? It hasn't been specifically said what the, what the charges are. It definitely has to do with the video, but as you can see, they're girls and boys dancing. The girls are not covered up. They don't wear hijab, and it's even though they filmed this at the private of their home, it was published to the world and it was made public. So I think what the whole that's what the whole fuss was about. As someone who is very familiar with Iran's culture, are you surprised by this? By the arrest, actually, no. We were discussing this with a friend after the video was published. There was, in fact, three versions from Iran. And the two other versions, the girl were mostly covered up. And this was the only version that was made at a house, and the girls were not wearing hijab. And we were saying that we were worried about them getting arrested. And uh, we weren't 100% sure, looking from the outside, if this is something that is still causing uh, controversy. And the arrest showed that it is. So. Does this music video really reflect what's going on in Iran? I think it does for a good portion of the youth. I mean, Iranian youth, a lot of them, I don't want to speak for the, for the whole country, but a lot of the Iranian urban youth are modern youth, just like everybody else. They listen to Pharrell Williams. They respond to his call for making fan videos of his, of his song. And they, they wear similar clothes to everybody else. They like to sing and dance and be together and be happy. And um, these kids, I think, pushed the boundaries a little bit more than um, than what the other two videos did and and the courage sometimes you know get, gets you in a little bit of trouble but it's good that they were released today well because of the controversy and you've confirmed that they have been released yes. right because of the controversy though I think it's easy for Americans or really anybody in the Western world to get this really weird and probably off base concept of what life is really like in Iran there are really two sides to this aren't there Exactly. And sometimes the two sides can be very, very exaggerated and you really have to put the two together. You might look at this video and think that's what life is in the entire Iran and that is not very accurate. But you might also see a, their video of being arrested and think that's how Iran is being and that's not 100 percent true. So it's I would say a very um, long term struggle between the two sides. The the ones who want to keep the traditions as they were and then the modern progressive who want more liberties who want to live a different life and they're constantly pushing the boundaries and the other side off obviously is backfiring and it's just this constant struggle that keeps going on so the president of iran actually responded to this on twitter what did he say he said it was actually part of his speech that was made last year. So his Twitter team pulled that up and oh. just republished it saying happiness is okay for our people and uh, we shouldn't be too hard on behaviors that are caused by joy. That was part of his speech. That was a very important reaction. So I think what the president has done, he's made some achievements in the foreign policy sphere and he's getting more into the domestic liberties that he had been uh, promising during the election. And it looks like he is trying to bring that debate more into the public sphere. So he was known as somehow negotiating behind the scenes with the hardliners, but I feel like these are moves that are showing that he's bringing this, this uh, debate to the public. He has talked about more freedom as far as internet and social media recently. He made a speech, he asked the youth to join social networks and be more active, and even mentioned that that was one of the reasons he got elected last year. So. I think he, right now, seems to be teaming up with the progressives. Yeah, he sounds very moderate. Yeah. Nagar, thank you so much for adding thank the you. insight to this story, and we hope you'll come back and visit us. Thanks for having me.